Hi, everybody. It's Monday, April 13th, day number 26 of lockdown. Hope everybody had a great Easter yesterday. This is Henry from the chamber stationed at home base. And what the heck? It is cold. It's the middle of April and it's 35 degrees this morning and it's ridiculous. So well, let's talk about what's going on. Yesterday, I mentioned some good news that Tiger King launched one more episode on Netflix yesterday. Bad news is we watched it and we won't get that time back. Actually, it's pretty interesting. It was really an interview show, some of the, the uh, stars of the documentary. So you got a little more insight into what some of the people we were watching were thinking and how they feel about Joe Exotic being arrested and some other stuff. So if you've watched Tiger King, you probably ought to watch it. It's a good way to close it out. So yesterday I got caught up on a lot of work and uh, played some games and watched TV with the kids. And we cooked yesterday. We cooked a, a pork shoulder and Kimberly made some homemade hummus and homemade uh, flourless peanut butter cookies that were awesome. And so I got to go jogging today. We got 56 confirmed cases, no new cases yesterday. So keep doing what you're doing. Stay home as much as possible. This may be a big week in terms of, of local and state news. The governor has announced that he will be making uh, some additional comments this week about opening up uh, common sense regulations with the business community. So we'll see what happens there. In addition, and this is big, Mayor Santiana has asked me to help him uncover what you guys are doing to help protect your employees and your customers. What are the out of the box ways that you've, you've implemented uh, safety uh, rules in your business to help us get through this while helping you do business because there will be continuous change in uh, the shelter in place rules until this is all over and the mayor needs your help and our help creating some effective policy change for Wichita Falls so if you've got any stories about what you're doing in the workplace to protect people please just comment on one of my posts on this video or send me a message or email me at henry at wichitafallschamber.com. We're going to compile a list for the mayor and give it to him. And uh, then hopefully he'll be able to use that to create some, some uh, improvements in our structure. If you've got questions about how the existing plan affects your business, remember you can email the city at covidquestions at wichitafallstx.gov. Got some more big news. If you're a nonprofit on the front line of the COVID-19 response, the Wichita Falls Area Community Foundation has established a disaster relief fund. Grants for nonprofits involved in direct response related to COVID-19 uh, are being taken through midnight this Wednesday. Uh, in addition, donations are being accepted and a group of previous Wichitans of the year have uh, pledged a match and they've matched nearly $8,500 in donations so far. So that's a great program that can provide some immediate assistance to our much needed nonprofits who are who may be struggling right now. So if you can help, that'd be fantastic. Today, we've got a, a team meeting with the chamber staff and then some other initiatives I'm working on, including tomorrow night, we've got a virtual business after hours. And then Thursday morning, we're hosting a virtual wake up, which it all falls. And so if you're interested in reconnecting with people, even though it's online, check out our Facebook page and you'll, you'll find all the info. We will continue to communicate with the city and the county about what these rules mean for you. So keep sending us your suggestions and your ideas and your concerns, and we will make those known. And don't forget, like the Chamber Facebook page. And if you need more information, visit wichitafallschamber.com slash fallsstrong for all sorts of info on how to work remotely, on what chamber members are open, on all sorts of uh, small business relief issues, and, and, and much more. Much, much more. So check it out. And don't forget to check with your local businesses because they may be open. As the government has continued to, to change the, the rules and regulations throughout this process, a lot of our business community has figured out ways to provide goods and services to you. And so just call them and see. All right. Uh, that's it for today. Remember, the chamber is still open for business, even though you can't come into the office. And i got a quote today from humorist Irma Bombeck, who said... Worry is like a rocking chair. It gives you something to do, but it never gets you anywhere. So stress out, get over it, figure out what you got to do, and let's move on together. All right, have a great Monday. I love you guys.